We're going to talk about snow yoked, swole white, dim girls, they got to get dim games. You know, friends, I like to react to some good old fashioned AI and. I have a couple of ones that we should check out today. We're going to experience them together as we experience AI princesses, but imagined as anime. But there's a there's a twist at the end, and I even brought my own super powerful Orc U AI generator along for the ride. It's going to participate, it's going to contribute a little bit here. Uh, that's right. I am the man you may know as he from our reviews will kill you, and we are here to give you news reviews and all that other good stuff. And give you some fun old reactions. We're going to check out... <laughs> it's no Harry Spotter, but it's... it's Snow Yoked is pretty... She's pretty tough. We're going to check out an article. And I guess... Hey, look, I get bored too. We've, we've had some other AI reaction videos where we took our super powerful AI and made some horrific monsters. Just in case you don't remember. But we've got one to react to for you. Oh, it's really going to do this to me. Let's see here. Give me some trees. Then give me BuzzFeed article by Andy Golder. Is it really by Andy Golder? Because all he did was use a less powerful super computer than Orc U has employed for them. He asked AI to redesign Disney princesses as action anime characters. And uh, he liked the results, and I'm I'm not. I will agree. Some of the results are very good. So let's let's get a little bit of a reaction. Let's take a look at them. I would let Belle cast her spell on me anytime she wants. She's a bookworm, but she's still bringing that hot fire. <laughs> she's spitting fire. I like it. I give this one. Uh, I give this solid nine out of ten. I'd like to see the beast, but given what I got. 9 out of 10. Full Metal Alchemist show. All right. Then we've got Ariel, everybody's favorite uh, redhead pop star, because she's a singer. That's right. I 10 out of 10, Ariel. Ariel is a winner. I like the see-through dress. Uh, I'm afraid she probably still has legs. So wh which one are you going for, Ariel with or without legs? Let me know in the comments below which, which Ariel would you prefer. With or without legs, legs or fishtail, Cinderella looking. Uh, I like this one. I this one's an eight out of ten for me. I kiss. I can't see the whole full, the full exposure. I'm not getting the whole thing. She kind of looks like she's tap dancing. Her dress is looking a little short. I like. I like me a little bit more conservative looking Cinderella. Not gonna lie. Um, let's see what else we got here. Merida <laughs> from uh the heck movie is that? Something about a bear. Is that what it's called? Something about a bear? I think it's called that. Something about a bear. And uh she's a track star in one of those uh animes where they do high school sports. Six out of ten. She doesn't need any high school sports. She's a true athlete. Should be professional, a collegiate level or higher archery. Right? Isn't that the way this works? It should just have a little... She's got some tight shorts on, though. You know? You know? <laughs> Tiana, 10 out of 10 for sure. She can make my dough any day. What is she? Is she squeezing something into a pot here? Hold on. Uh, Tiana likes to get her hands dirty. I'm in for that. I'm in. And I think the character design is pretty good because she looks happy. In the kitchen. <laughs> and why wouldn't you if you were a world famous chef? See what I did there? You see what I did there? So, yeah, Tiana, 10 out of 10. <laughs> what, cozy food anime? I guess, yeah, that's a thing. Hey, you can do an anime out of basically anything. As long as she's not in high school. We need full grown adult princesses here, not high school princesses. She owns her own restaurant. She is an entrepreneur. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's keep going. Aurora. What is Aurora? Who's Aurora? What is she from? Oh, isn't that Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, what is she trying to do, damsel here? Let's put, let's put down the sword and shield, sweetheart. I, I don't think you're saving 
anybody. Don't you fall asleep or something and somebody has to kiss. Why are so many princesses falling asleep? Falling asleep on the job, sweetheart. Can't do that. Sleeping Beauty? Is that who Aurora is? Hold on. Not sure. Sleeping Beauty. Wouldn't she be sleeping, not be the chosen knight? I mean, it's cool character design. Let's give it a uh, six. Six out of ten. You know, I, for believability. Believability, you know. Not buying it. Not buying it. Let's see. Uh, we got another good one. This one, 10 out of 10. Line alone gets a 10 out of 10. And then you throw in... Uh, J- Jasmine wears... I believe she wears the fewest clothes of any of the princesses. Interesting how they didn't change her outfit at all, huh? AI, you, you didn't want to... You don't want to change her outfit, make her more a little more progressive here, but I that's a cool image. I don't know if she's kung fu fighting or she's a rap star, but either way, I'm down. I like the gold slippers. That's cool. 10 out of 10, Jasmine. Marshall. <laughs> she summons a lion or a tiger to beat people up. She does has the lion do her bidding. Uh, Moana surrounded by friends. That doesn't look that different. Why does she got tattoos now? What is she? She's got, I mean, at least they're not bad tattoos from what I can see, but that just looks like regular little Moana. <laughs> Why is it any different? They made her chicken more realistic. So Hey Hey is slightly more realistic. This guy's saying she's a water bender. I mean, I guess. Sure. Why not? Moana, because you're the same, you get docked points. They didn't do anything special to you. Eight out of ten. And you think that oar is going to do anything? You ain't beating anybody with an oar. And the realistic t- chicken takes it down one more step because that's a well-fed chicken. And that chicken that was on the sea had food but shouldn't be that well-fed. Hey, hey, let's give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Oh, my gosh. We still have more. Uh, we have Rapunzel. Let down your hair of fire. I mean, I like the image. She seems a little demonic. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. For just the fire hair. What are you going to do with fire hair? You're going to burn yourself. You're going to whip someone with some fire hair? But I like the character design. Solid. Very solid. Uh, She could both heal her hair. Heal people or dish out some hair. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, Mulan is exactly the same as well. Way to not think that hard on this AI. Some of them they redesigned, like Aurora is completely not out of character, not sleeping at all, because that's her main character trait, is sleeping. Mulan's main character fight, or or, or main characteristic is uh, fighting as a samurai. Not bad, but not great. 7 out of 10, for sure. For sure. Uh, and there, okay, here we go. This one, though. I, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm not going to let this one go. Now, I'm a little confused because it's Elsa and Anna, right? And uh, Elsa is the one on the left, the ice, ice princess. Liking the dress. I mean, their dresses are authentic. And I think they're holding hands, which leads me back to a cut of. Frozen, that I'm pretty sure I saw, and no one seems to agree with me, where the only way to free true love's kiss is from your sister, and that's how she freed her sister from her icy tomb, was by giving her a little smoochy smooch. Didn't know Disney had it in them. I swear I saw that cut. No one else believes me. Uh, We've got Pocahontas with Pokeballs and a raccoon friend. I'm all in 10 out of 10 because she's got gloves and she knows how to use them. Good. I like the, the accoutrement. I like the jewelry. I think Pocahontas looks looks pretty fire. Look at them thick thighs. Oh, yeah, an animal. Oh, yeah, she's got a raccoon. A raccoon. So, yeah, 10 out of 10 there. And then we're gonna get we're gonna get to our last one. But before we get to our last one, because I think the world played a cruel trick on us. Let's look at the super powerful Orc AI and see what they did for us. So we saw our first image here. This is this has got to be uh, 
snow yoked, right? I mean, she's she's toned. She's fit. She's like a CrossFit girl. <laughs> the CrossFit girl of your dreams. Doing them weights. I don't know if it's enough weight, but it, hey, at least she's trying. You know, she's kind of an OnlyFans model. Just giving, she's, she's hanging out with some balls in the gym. I'm liking it. I'm going to give her a 10 out of 10. But I think we can we do better. I don't know if we could do better. But we can definitely update it for modern times, can we not, folks? Let let's let's give the uh, let's go through the matrix and let's give it an update. Oh, there we go. Now we've got ourselves. That is swole white. She upgraded. Look at look at them. She got the gains. She adapted her dress. She's looking. She's not looking like that CrossFit girl. She stepped it up a level. Now she's into some professional bodybuilding. I think this this is a t also 10 out of 10. I am in in like Flynn. She's got it going on. But maybe BuzzFeed has us beat. I don't know, but we could take a look and see if BuzzFeed has us beat. I suspect it's possible. We'll take a look here. Let's go back to the article. No, that's me. Let's go back to the article. Now, this, this, the world's cruel mistress. What, what the, f what am I looking at here? What did they do? What did they do to Snow White? She, she's gone beyond. She's gone one level beyond. The, the, this reminds me of things like, um, but this reminds me of Black Widow. You remember in Black Widow, maybe you guys didn't know this, but in Black Widow, they put a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they put Olga Kurlenko's head on a man's body when they were doing the Taskmaster. This kind of looks like that. They put this cute anime Snow White's body on a dude's on it, or her head on a dude's body. No, I, no girl without implants is gonna have that many, uh, any that many packs, right? Those abs, those two, <laughs> the swollest one of all. Then she fights Frieza. I think we could wrap it up there, and I'll leave you with that nightmare image. <laughs> Hold on, I can make it better for you. Give, give me a second here. I can make an adjustment. If I just showed you that, you'd be confused, would you not, friends? And then if I showed you this, you'd be like, huh, am I in or out? I don't even know what to give this. I can't give it a 10 out of 10. I'm thinking 5 out of 10. Maybe lower. You tell me, what is your rating for this? Is this Snow White the swollest one of them all? You let me know, did BuzzFeed go wrong here? Did they twist our minds? I think the Orc U definitively won. Our supercomputer does it best because it it followed a progression. It knew what, what to do. Let me know what you think in the comments below. In the meantime, catch our full-length audio podcasts on iTunes. You can also catch us live streaming here on YouTube, 7.30 Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 p.m. Come join us. We can also be found on Rumble and other places like that. But as for myself, I am no longer on the yoke, but I am on to the next one.